welcome back to another episode. Today, I'm going to be talking about gratitude and how to create a, an, a gratitude anchor so that you can center yourself back into the present moment instead of reacting to your outside circumstances. And the reason why this is so important is because so many times in life, we get carried away with the chaos. We get carried away with how other people are feeling around us. We get carried away with just all of the things that come along with living life and especially in, in motherhood, right? And if you're, you're an entrepreneur at the same time and we find ourselves being reactive to life or we find ourselves living in the past or we find ourselves living in the future, right? There was a, there was a statistic that I read recently that said that the average person has something crazy, like 70,000 thoughts a day and only one to 2% of those thoughts are conscious thoughts. That means out of all those thoughts that are passing by our awareness and passing by our, our mind or into our mind, only very few of them are thoughts that we're choosing to think. And what does that mean? That means that we're not in the present moment, hardly ever. Most of us are just not in the present moment. And the only thing that really truly exists is the present moment. Because if you think about this and contemplate, it's a very deep concept, but if you think about it, it's pretty crazy to consider, right? So you think about the now and you think about right now, you're listening to the sound of my voice on this podcast. And you think about what happened an hour ago or yesterday or, or a couple of days ago, that's the past, but the past no longer exists. All we have is right now. And the future, the future actually doesn't ever exist either. The future is just a, a, an idea in our mind. We think, oh, that's going to, we think about something and we think, oh, that's going to happen next week. That's going to happen tomorrow. That's going to happen next month, right? But when it actually happens, where are you? You're in the present moment, right? You're in the now, right? When you're, when you are able to tap into the present moment of now and be there and be conscious of what you're thinking about and how you're feeling and how you're re reacting and responding to the world around you in that moment, you're being deliberate in that moment. You're being a conscious creator of your own reality. And that's what this game is all about. That's what manifesting consciously manifesting your reality is all about is creating a life that you love from the inside out, from your internal state to your external state, allowing the external experience that you're having on the outside, the life that you're creating on the outside, we want it to reflect what's going on inside, but only if we're controlling what's happening on the inside, right? Because if it's a mess, if we're stressed out, if it's a bunch of negativity, if it's all these negative thoughts, if it's all this stuff, all this messy stuff that we don't want, we're just going to keep creating and perpetuating the the life and the experience that we do not want anymore right so i want you to think of a moment of a mo for a moment what gratitude means to you when you hear the word gratitude what do you think of you might think of something that you're thankful for you might think of thanksgiving but gratitude is really it's a it's a vibration and it's a frequency it's a feeling it's a feeling that you get within yourself and the the most powerful metaphor that I can use for this, especially for those of you who are mothers, is the very first time that you ever held your baby, whatever baby, maybe you have multiple babies, but go back to whatever birth, whatever experience you can, you can remember the easiest and think back to when you first held them in your arms and the amount of love and appreciation and peace and fulfillment that you felt in that moment as you held them. Do you remember the moments leading up until that point? Do you remember the feelings of maybe you were feeling a little discomfort, you know, pushing them out of your body into the world? Maybe you were feeling fear. Maybe you were feeling pain. Maybe you were feeling doubt. Maybe you're feeling all kinds, you were feeling all kinds of feelings and emotions, right? But do you remember that the moment that they came out and emerged and you were holding them, him or her, on your, on your chest or in your arms, that moment when you looked down into their eyes and you were just mesmerized by the beauty and by the innocence and by just, oh my gosh, you know, for me in that moment, there was just nothing else that existed. It was like time stands still almost, you know, you're not worried about your bills. You're not worried about your debt. You're not worried about anything else. There's just no worry. There's nothing that exists in that moment except for unconditional love and appreciation and gratitude. And so that is the feeling. 
It's not just being thankful on the surface and saying, oh yeah, I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for this. I'm thankful for that. It's the deep feeling that changes your emotional state almost to where you know that you really tap into it when you're tapping into, when you think of instances in your life, make you tear up a little bit. They make you a little bit emotional. They make you feel like, oh my gosh, like I remember that moment. I remember when that happened. I remember when I was there. I remember when whatever it was. And you start to get emotional as if it's happening again. So that right there is an anchor. It's an emotional anchor that you can use and you can decide. And and what my assignment for you today is going to be to take some time as you walk away from this podcast, whether it's right away or just later in the day, just take some time today and sit with yourself and really reflect on something that you're grateful for. It could be your birthing experience. It could be holding your baby. That's one of the, a, a very simple one for a lot of us moms, right? But what, whatever it is, contemplate on the, that moment, some moment from your past or even from your present that you can really think about and just really tap into that feeling. But it's important to get that feeling in your heart, that feeling that wells up, that almost makes you have tears. Or maybe it does. Maybe it makes you emotional and start to have, start to cry a little bit. Tap into that state of gratitude. And have that experience for a moment within yourself. And if you want to visualize whatever it is that you want to visualize, you can. But tap into that feeling and then hold on to that and tell yourself, this is the moment that I'm choosing to anchor in as my present moment. This is the moment that I'm going to think about when I want to be in appreciation and I want to be in awareness and I want to hold on to my power. And I want to respond to my external environment instead of react. I'm going to anchor this moment as my moment of gratitude and appreciation. And I'm going to carry this moment with me throughout my day. I'm going to carry it with me as I go to work. I'm going to carry it with me as I'm in interactions with other people, with my partner or with my business partners or with other people, my other family members or friends or whatever it is, everywhere that I go. My new assignment in life is to take this moment forward with me as my anger of where I need to be as often as possible. And then what you're going to do moving forward is you're going to go on about your life, right? And as life starts to heat up a little bit, as it starts to get chaotic, as it starts to get stressful, as it starts to get whatever it gets, right? We're making the conscious decision of no longer reacting to the external, No longer reacting to somebody who is saying something to us or doing something, right? Maybe we're perceiving it as they're doing something to us. We're no longer going to be reactive to the things that our kids choose to do or our partner or spouse chooses to do or the people online choose to do or just anything that happens. We're going to say from this day forward, I'm choosing to respond and I'm going to grab onto that anchor and I'm going to bring it into my present moment. And I'm going to take a, take a quick moment as this thing is unfolding and this thing is happening. And I'm going to choose to be present and grateful and appreciative. And I'm going to respond from this place. I'm going to respond with more patience. I'm going to respond with appreciation and compassion and love. And I'm going to respond to the situation in a way that I choose to respond to instead of just reacting in a way that I, that I'm not even in control of. And what you're going to find is that you have more patience with your kids and with your spouse, and you have more patience in your business activities and the things that you go out and choose to do. But on a deeper energetic level, because we've been talking about how everything is energy. And I encourage you to go back to the the previous episodes if you haven't heard those, but we're, this is a theme that's just weaving in throughout all of these episodes is that everything is energy. Everything is frequency. And the key to becoming a deliberate creator of your own reality and to being uh, living from the inside out and and manifesting, which is what just deliberately creating, right? Having the external respond to your internal state, having your finances respond to you and your internal wealth, your internal richness, your internal prosperity, As you become more rich on the inside, as you become more prosperous on the inside, as you choose to recognize wealth, abundance, prosperity, appreciation, for that area of your life inside, it starts to express on the outside, right? 
as you choose to, to start putting your focus and your, your attention on the things that are great about your relationship and the things that you love about your spouse and the things that you love about your, your marriage and, and all those things, you'll notice that what you're putting your attention on start to expand and more things to appreciate start to bloom and more things that start to, that you, that you actually like and enjoy start to sprout within that relationship and so on and so forth. And it happens in every area of life. Your consciousness can even affect your child's behavior, your children's behavior. I want to do a specific episode on that. Actually, I'm going to save that. But so what is the point? So the point is to create this anchor to carry it forward with you in your, in each and every day and every, every interaction that you have, I want you to keep this, keep it in the back of your mind. You know, if you have to have something on you, maybe like a bracelet or, or something where like a rubber band or something where it reminds you that, oh, okay, here's where I'm not going to, I'm not going to get stressed out anymore, but here's how it's going to happen. And it's not an overnight thing, right? We have to decide that we're going to become an athlete of the mind that you're going to become, that you're going to dedicate yourself and commit yourself to a new way of thinking. Because up until this point, you know, I'm about to turn 35. I'm not sure how many years you've been here on this earth, but I could say I've had 35 years of a certain amount of programming, you know, and I started my initial journey about 10 years ago in becoming more conscious and learning these principles and applying them to my life. Right. So I don't know how long you've been programmed by other people and your religious institutions or your churches or your schools or your parents or whoever your whole life, right? We have to ha have some grace and have some patience for ourselves because our current mindset, our current mentality and our current consciousness has been years and years and years in the making, right? But the good news is, right? The good news is that it doesn't have to take that long to change and your life can literally change and 180 in such a short period of time, that's how powerful you and your consciousness is and are. The divine mind wants to give you everything that you desire, all the, the abundance and prosperity and the, the wellness and the health and just the, the fulfillment in life and everything that you desire, it's on the inside of you for a purpose. You know, It's there because it's saying, hey, don't you wanna experience this? Don't you wanna experience more of this? And that's what desire is. And so we attain more of that and we experience more of that by becoming more of that first on the inside. And then we can expect to experience it more on the outside. So use this, I, I encourage you to go out and use this anchor today and go forward and start to use it in your everyday life. And in, instead of in situations, instead of where you would get worried or where you would get stressed out or where you get fearful or where you would get anything but loving or anything but appreciative or anything but gra grateful, Use this anchor and respond from the space. And then what's going to happen on a deep energetic level, what you're doing, this work that you're doing, this training of your mind and of your energy and of your emotions that you're doing, you are raising your vibrational frequency. So guess what's going to happen? You're going to start to experience more things that you can be appreciative for, more things that you can be grateful for. You're going to start experiencing more opportunities and doors opening and the right meeting the right person at the right time and, and having a new idea or having a new opportunity come into your life or you know things are just going to shift the universe literally shifts and responds to you shifting and responding within your body and within your mind so i i'm, I'm coming bud yeah i got i got nevea i guess i woke up from her nap and i gotta go uh, attend to her, but I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, if you did, and if you got value from it, please share it with somebody that you love and that you care about. The most amazing thing about us individually doing this work is that we also exist as a collective. So by you and I working on expanding ourselves and tapping into love and gratitude, we're also affecting the collective as well, which is really amazing, right? So Thank you for tuning in. I will see you in the next episode. And as always, I believe in you and your infinite potential. See you in the next one.